The Greenleaves Primary School opened its doors in 2015 and accommodates more than 1,800 learners. The school has 41 teachers with 32 classrooms, each taking between 35 to 40 learners. An appeal from government to build extra classrooms has not yet received attention and in the meantime, the school management has taken it upon themselves to build corrugated iron sheet structures. Upon our arrival at the school, children were playing in the scorching sun because there is no space in the classrooms to accommodate them. Space is a definite problem. Yes, I communicated this to my superiors numerous times. I send letters, um, but you know, the, the situation always, the budget is depleted or there's no money. That's the situation. So the political will of our teachers to make sure that our children are being taken care of and our children um, have space pushed us this year to decide we're going to do something. And this brought us to the situation that, that we have decided we're going to erect zinc classes for our children to accommodate them. Because where do we send them, those who don't have plus minus 600 learners who do not have classrooms uh, and so on. Sophia Haipinge, a mathematics and science head of department, poured her heart out as she pleads with Good Samaritans to assist the school with furniture and more building materials. Uh, we are really in dire need and we are calling out the Good Samaritans to come on board. Uh, Greenleaves is in need, we need to accommodate our children, they need to get classes. We cannot afford to let a Namibian child be down not having a classroom to sit. As we are busy now with the zinc classrooms, we don't even have chairs because we thought, where do we start? Chairs are a luxury for now, but they are a need for a child. They need tables, they need chalkboards. I'm pleading, I'm pledging to the Namibian nation out there, seeing this, so that they come on board, they help out. The school's principal, Chanville Macriel, however, speaks highly of the learners' and teachers' performance despite challenges the school is faced with. Our children, they, they did quite well because our teachers, our teachers make sure that the learning support our learners need to get, they are on that. My management makes sure that that is executed and implemented, so we do our utmost best to make sure. The school has no library and only owns one block of toilets being utilized by 1,800 learners. Reporting for NBC News, Erika Nawinda.